Greetings and peace. I hope you and yours are doing well today, wherever you might be watching this from. And I hope you're all having a wonderful month of May 2023 as we head into a new season filled with blessings, rewards, challenges, and all of that alike. The title of today's talk will be the concept of holding stock in thyself only and how in the end you're practically alone. When you come out of your mother's womb, you're alone in this life and you come out alone and of course throughout your life you have your family your friends your foundation your neighbors the school system the things you grew up with the friends and memories that you make along the way but there comes a time when at your uh, there comes a time in your life where you have to be self-sufficient because eventually friends will go their own way family goes their own way once siblings get married and have their own families and go off on their own your parents start getting older and uh, eventually that reality of, of your parents going away as well that many have to face. So in the end, you must hold stock in thyself. Be in a position in your life where no matter what storms come in your life, you have a good position where you got your own place, you're self-sufficient financially, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So no matter what storms come in your life, because you have to face the reality, everything comes and goes in life, whether it's friends, mates, uh, people you worked with, people you grew up with, there comes a times where the communication ceases to exist and everyone kind of goes off on their own individual path and journey. So you must be prepared that what am I good at in life? What can I do? Because the tasks and objectives that you must do for yourself, no one can do it in the manner that you can. And it's important to be self-sufficient on this journey. And it's important to know what am I good at and what do I need to do in this life? It's good to maintain human relations and to do all of that stuff in between. But even if you're involved in social programs or organizations, that promise you that you're not alone. In the end, you really are alone when, it, when you are in a situation where you need some kind of help. So you must be able to sustain yourself and you must be able to do things which not only you can help yourself, but you'll be able to help others in your life as well. So you must be able to be self-sufficient and hold stock in thyself because in the end, everyone goes their own way. And if any, anyone talks a big game, that, hey, uh, I'm gonna be there for you or I'm gonna do this for you, hold stock in thyself only. Because when the time comes, it's only you. And you came out of your mother's womb alone, you're gonna go into the grave alone. And that's why I say the only reward you have in this human life is what good did you do for yourself and others. But in the end, don't forget that in order to survive this human life, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and all that in between, you must be self-sufficient and hold stock in thyself. Don't put, it's good to have faith in others, but not too much where you're not doing the things that you were supposed to and you're letting yourself go, which is ultimately gonna damage you. And when the damage is done, everyone else runs away. So hold stock in thyself.